hello guys today we'll see some important name reactions in all amines general formula of amine is nh2 so let's see the uh, first uh, name reaction that is uh, gabriel thalamide synthesis this reaction is used for the preparation of aliphatic uh, primary amines thalamide is first treated with alcoholic koh which is base to form potassium thalamide so see the first uh, step of the reaction this one is thalamide and it is treated with base koh alcoholic koh what is the role of base base accepts proton so it accept this protons so water goes out and k comes in the place of h then this potassium thalamide on treatment with alkyl halide give an alkyl thalamide so see rx is the alkyl halide so x goes with k plus and r attaches here so uh, we get n alkyl thalamide here and when this n alkyl thalamide is hydrolyzed ultimately primary amine is obtained this bonds are broken down and primary amine and thalic acid is obtained so that's the first reaction gabriel thalamide synthesis next uh, name reaction is uh, hoffman rearrangement reaction so it is used to prepare primary amine or we can use uh, yes we use primary amine or we can uh, prepare aromatic amine also by this method when primary amide amide is derivative of carboxylic acid is heated with naoh and bromine it gives primary amine with one carbon less so this is the amide rconh2 when it is treated with bromine in presence of base naoh primary amine is obtained by products of sodium carbonate nabr and water okay so here hydrogen and oxygen are there on uh, reactant side therefore water is written excess of sodium is left so that combines with br and remaining part is sodium carbonate so one reaction uh, i have written this one is benzamide plus br2 plus 4 koh it will give aniline so this co goes out co of amide goes out and primary amine is obtained here in this case aniline is obtained okay instead of nh we can also use koh so potassium carbonate is obtained kbr k with this br k plus br minus and water is obtained in this reaction so this is hoffman rearrangement reaction where amide is converted into amine next reaction is a sandmeier's reaction uh, we already discussed that in haloalkanes chapter haloalkanes and haloarenes diazonium salt is known as a good living group so when diazonium salt is treated with copper chloride in hcl or copper bromide in hbr or copper cyanide in kcn to form chlorobenzene bromobenzene and benzonitrile respectively so these all reactions are known as sandmeier's reaction okay so generally if you want to convert aniline into chlorobenzene or if you want to convert aniline into bromobenzene or aniline into benzonitrile we use this sandmeier reaction so see the first reaction aniline is already converted into benzene diazonium chloride how we can convert aniline into benzene diazonium chloride by use of nano2 hcl temperature is 0 to 5 degree celsius and then now uh, this benzene diazonium chloride is a good living group so it goes out and uh, copper uh, chlorine comes in and that's how chlorobenzene is obtained okay so aniline first converted into benzene diazonium chloride which is good living group aniline is bad living so uh, it converted into good living group and then uh, chlorine is easily substituted so the chlorobenzene is obtained similar to that we can form bromobenzene also again uh, that diazonium salt good living group so it is replaced by br and similar to that we can also substitute cyanide so benzonitrile is obtained next uh, reaction is gatterman reaction so in gatterman reaction let's see when benzene diazonium salt is treated with hcl or hbr in the presence of copper powder 
chloromenzene and bromobenzene obtained respectively. So Gatterman's reaction is particularly to prepare chloro and bromobenzene and see the difference between Sandmeyer and Gatterman. Reagents are different. In uh, Sandmeyer reaction we use Cu2Cl2 oblique HCl. Here we use copper powder only along with HCl. So that's the only difference and uh, product uh, are uh, byproducts are N2 and CuCl that's it other things are same diazonium salt is as it is the reagents are different copper powder is used here next test is uh, carbylamine reaction it is also known as isocyanide test so cyanide is Cn isocyanide is Nc Aliphatic and aromatic primary amines when heated with chloroform and alcoholic KOH, isocyanides are obtained. Isocyanides are also known as carbylamine. So this reaction is uh, known as carbylamine reaction or isocyanide test. See primary amine plus chloroform, CHCl3 is chloroform and KOH is base. It is alcoholic KOH and uh, RNC is obtained byproduct is KCl and water. Similarly, aniline plus chloroform plus KOH gives phenyl isocyanide. NC is obtained and uh, KCl and water are the byproduct. Okay, so cyanide is ambident ligand. CN is known as cyanide and NC is known as isocyanide. And now let's see the last reaction that is the coupling reaction. So benzene diazonium chloride react with phenol in which the phenol molecule at its para position is coupled with diazonium salt to form para hydroxy azobenzene. This type of reaction is called coupling reaction. So in uh, case of coupling reaction this uh, N2 plus of diazonium salt is not eliminated. Okay, in the previous reaction in Sandmeyer in Gatterman, we saw that that N2 plus is eliminated uh, as it is a good link group. But in this reaction, this N2 plus is not eliminated. And uh, to do that, we have to use uh, a compound having electron donating group. So phenol is there, phenol is having OH as electron donating group. Similarly, we can use aniline also which have NH2 as electron donating group. So because of this electron donating group this uh, N2 plus will not go out and uh, H uh, which is para to the OH will couple with Cl in the presence of base I mean HCl will go out and this uh, N will attach here. So that's how this uh, coupling reaction occurred. This is the uh, product para hydroxy azobenzene. And uh, the next one is para, uh, and the next one is the para amino azobenzene. So same reaction, HCl goes out. Important part here is uh, we should have electron donating group. So here NH2 is electron donating group. Otherwise, coupling will not occur. There should be electron donating group. So HCl will go out, and this N will couple with uh, uh, the remaining part of aniline, and this product is obtained. So that's all. These are the uh, important name reactions uh, in our minds. Thank you for watching the video.